I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci, two towns that love Halloween. That's what we're taking it to on On the Road. Hop on in. Great time here for Halloween. We're at Northfield Community School. Joined with me uh, is Pumpkin Pie, also known as Principal Marine Vaccaro uh, from Northfield Community School. Principal, thank you so much for being here today. We appreciate it. Thank you for coming. It's oh, an exciting day. Very exciting. There's a lot of energy here today. And um, what has been your favorite costume here so far? Well, you have yet to see fourth grade, okay. second grade teachers are dressed up like our new reading program. Fourth grade teachers have a very exciting group costume, uh -huh. but every single student just looks adorable. They do. They look adorable. They do. We saw. I saw a couple of Harry Potters. I saw a dinosaur. I saw a couple of Eagles players. So we're all good here. Yes. And then, what made you want to be pumpkin pie? Oh, pumpkin pie. I try to wear something that is a little thought provoking, a little and educational. Comfortable, but yes. Okay. A little educational. All right. Very nice. And how long have they been doing the Halloween parade here? The children have been able to come comfortably orange and black for many, many years, but we did not begin the parade until last year. Okay. So this is their second year walking inside, and it's exciting because it's just the teachers, just the children. They're excited to walk around and just relax and be themselves. Mm -hmm. Now let me talk about you for a second, because before you were a principal and in education, you worked in sporting goods, and actually you owned your own sport clothing line, correct? I designed indoor recreational facilities, okay. and I had my own sporting goods line, yes I did. Okay, so what got you into education? I went I It's went a good back story. It is. I went back to school. I was in school for architecture, design. I went back to school for education and decided on special ed and then taught special ed education for a few years, uh -huh. for about 10 years, and then went into administration. Sure, and how did you get involved with being here in Northfield? Northfield. I was in Ocean City for three years, okay. and it was recommended to me to that this position was open, and Northfield is a lovely community, yep. and it came highly recommended by everyone I know to apply to Northfield, apply to Northfield. Okay, and that's an amazing community. Great segue into my last question. You know what it is. What makes Northfield a South Jersey special? What makes Northfield a South Jersey special? The students are absolutely adorable, loving, caring. The staff is amazing. And more importantly, the parents. The parents are special, they're dedicated, they're loving, caring, they want what's best for their children, and they support the teachers in everything we do. The parents are so supportive, and that's what makes Northfield amazing. And that's why I'm glad to be here. This is my eighth year, and I say that every single time I have a parent meeting, that everyone should be happy there in Northfield because it's amazing here. Absolutely, and great Halloween for you. Yeah. All right, Principal, yes. thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate the thank time. Thank you for coming. We'll be back with you in a little bit. All right, we headed down the road a couple miles. Now we're in Lidwood. We're in Fisher Woods. We're we'll come later today on Halloween. It's going to be packed. Hundreds of people roaming around, trick or treating. I'm here with my man, uh, Mr. Gary Ghost, over here, and he's got a pretty scary face. I don't know why he's so scared though, because the weather is looking so good. And the reason why this town's a South Jersey special kind of has to do with the weather. We're talking about flowers here. It's actually home to the African violet, which is usually seen in Tanzania and in southwestern part of Kenya, but they're actually flourishing here and actually come from Fisher Farms in part of Linwood. Anyway, back to the forecast. He looks pretty scary. The weather is not. We are talking about our warmest Halloween in about five years and potential for it to be even 10 years if we get to 68 degrees this afternoon. Now, looking at our trick or treat cast, he's going to be standing up, watching everybody pass on by. I don't know if ghosts can actually feel the temperature or not, but we're going to have temperatures that slowly slide through the 60s, both on the shore and at the mainland. By the time we get towards sunset here, temperatures in the low 60s for the most part. We have clear skies to go around, mainly clear as well. And then as we go into later in the overnight hours, say around 8 or 9 o'clock, again, just only hovering around 60 degrees, so much warmer than we've been over the past couple of years on Halloween, where actually our evening temperatures are quickly dropped through the 50s and 40s, and not the case this time with our southwesterly wind. Still gonna be a little bit gusty too as we go through the afternoon. Now, tonight we have temperatures that bottom out in the 50s everywhere. Windows open, kind of sleeping weather for tonight. After all the trick-or-treaters go away, 
he might be falling asleep too. He was trying to fall over a little bit before, trying to get a nap in before uh, trick-or-treating comes along. And then as we go into Thursday, our warmest day in quite a while. Temperatures will be in the low 70s on the mainland, 70 at the Jersey Shore. We have a gusty southwest wind, gusting at 30 miles an hour at times. He'll be blowing around a little bit too. And then as we go into Thursday night, Friday, and into Friday night, it's our next system. This actually looks to be two low pressure systems that come through the area. The first one will be Thursday night to Friday morning. The second one late Friday into Saturday morning. Between the two, does look like Friday will be close to a washout. We'll call it later tonight to see if it definitely is or isn't. We'll expect some periods of rainfall. Could even be a rumble of thunder which would have an impact for our Friday night football if it occurs later in the day. We have state playoffs going on. And then Saturday, a windy day, drying out. Temperatures are going to be seasonable. We see plenty of sunshine here as we go through the rest of the weekend on Sunday. So from here in Fisher Woods, I'm here with Garrity Ghost. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci, and you're on the road.